Hey YouTubers, how y'all doing? My name is Wadi Guy, and today I'm gonna to be trying out LSVR. Now, I've been reading a lot of like mixed reviews on this game and a lot of stuff has been said about the graphics in the game that it's not really up to par with what you know, was expected from it, but the developers have released a couple of patches to resolve these kind of problems. So I, I thought it'd be best to like, let it play out all a bit, see what changes and what doesn't, and then give it a try myself. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Wake up, Alice. Whoa. You are on board a spaceship, the Red Queen. My name is Hart, and I'm the computer controlling this vessel. I woke you because you are required to make repairs. There was a malfunction in the power system. Head to the engine room for further instructions. Okay, so it is a regular D-pad control. Um... It is likely you suffer from a temporary memory loss. Let me remind you that you're a part of an important mission headed toward the Arnett system. However, I was forced to wake you ahead of schedule. Ah, uh, I don't like it that the movement is, is locked to my hat. Because I, I like to like look around when I'm walking. Can I, can I not turn that off? I always like to hear some tips. It's kind of weird to have the controllers in game. I, I would have expected it to be like, I don't know, like some kind of robot hands. I have to say the resolution is actually quite okay. I mean, I had to put it on, on 200, uh, the HMD scaling, uh, but I can read in the distance actually fairly fine. I mean, here, cryogenic deck damage. Oh, that's not good actually. System malfunction. Oh, a fire on deck. I always love to hear those kind of things. You know, you just get into a game and that's what happens. Great. Holy Christ. Ah, I think I'm still not getting the full 90 frames per second now. I don't want to really want to put it below the 200 because I like the 200. The HMD scaling. I have no idea what that does. Let's see what this does. Woo, look at me flying. Oh, that does something. Oh, maybe it was forbidden access. Cryogenic storage, cryo storage control. Elevator maintenance. Yeah, I had to do something about that, I think. No. Maybe here? This is not a horror game, is it? Your suit are working properly. It will guard you against any direct contact with environmental hazards, such as a cloud of hot steam. Right? What? What is? I have no idea what all these things do. Storage units. Turn it off. Okay, I need to go to the bridge or engineering. Uh, I want to go to the bridge. I hope it's like a Star Trek bridge. I like those kind of bridges. Oh, even my laser has a shadow. That's not how lasers work. Okay, let me just get out of here again because I think I need to go to the other way. Meow. It's like I'm on like a scooter. Oops, something stuck here. Or not? Can't do anything about that. Car go bolt. Engine. Room. Yeah, that's. Ah, yeah. I need to fix the engine, of course. The engine. That was the thing that was on fire. Man, the, the textures on this game are incredible, though. I mean, I don't know what they, what, what other people saw when they tried this, but this looks freaking awesome. I kind of wish that I could uh, use uh, my secondary recording PC, but <laughs> the, the funny thing about that one is I need, a, I need a better processor for that one to be running. And I don't have the money at the time to buy a second processor. So I'm going to have to play my games. Like this, I can't go to full, full resolution scaling, which sucks because my PC definitely can handle that. Alice, due to the malfunction, the ship's main power generator doesn't produce enough power. You have to activate the auxiliary generator. Use the shrinking device to reach the control panel. A shrinking device? 
Let me see. Can I can I just walk through these clouds things? If I go faster? No. What is that? Whoa! What? That's cool! That was a shrinking unit! <laughs> this is freaking sweet! Oh, I love mechanics like this in VR. Can I go through? No. I'm not that small yet. Awesome. I hope it doesn't run out of time or something because I'm pretty much screwed. There we go. All through. It made me big again. Whoa! Whoa! Stay away out of the wall, please. Thank you. Arrange the conductor's elements so that they can connect. Arrange the conductor elements so they can connect. How? How? There we go. That one needs to go there then. Ah, oh, was that it? Easy peasy. Whoa. Did You've I do that? You've managed to avert further power loss. That's good, but you still have one more task before you. Bring it to, to me. Head to the robotics hub. Take a left after exiting the machine room. If the path is blocked, return to a higher level and use the second elevator. Okay. Whatever you say. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you Lucy. Is that okay? Lucy, I had to play around with the settings a little bit to, to get it running smoothly for me, but that's also because I'm recording. So I can I can actually turn it up even higher. Let me see if I can if I can still do that. Oh yes. This is how I want to play. This is on HMD scaling 250. The only annoying thing is, look at what happens if I turn my I don't know if you guys can see it, but it jitters. It jitters. So I don't think my computer, I think my, my processor or my graphics card at this moment is going, ah, what are you doing? Stop it, it's too much, I think. But this, I mean, I don't know, but uh, the graphics in this game look incredible. If you have the PC to do it. There's some weird stuff going on with shadows though. I turned shadows completely off because they were bugging me and they take up more of my processor, but in terms of graphics, this game does not let down. Certainly not. You just need to have a real beefy PC for it. The elevator shut down when the power loss occurred. You can activate it in the room at the end of the corridor, to the left of the elevator. Okay. Hey, little robot! Real robot! Hey! Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! Hey! Can you... Are you supposed to give me something? You're looking kind of strange at me. For all I knew, it could have been an enemy. Oh, are you floating? Why do you have wheels if you're floating? It's weird. Yes, open. Don't already press that. That is some humongous chairs. Look at that. <laughs> this chair is like this high. No, it doesn't work. Ooh, the Riddler's here too. Warning. Orbital scan has detected no life signs in Mirabilis. An active airspace barrier has been detected over the city. These controls manage elevator's power supply. Once turned on, the elevator should become operational. Okay, Lucy. And the other guy, I'm gonna call you Nigel. Because you sound like an English bro. Nigel. What is... Activate the buttons indicated by the green light. Ah, okay. What? I do not understand. Ah. Boom! Done. Now what? Press to use. Objective complete. Good. Now you can use the elevator. Yes. I love using the elevator. These doors are humongous as well. R2D2! Okay. 
Okay, great. Engineering. No. Yes. That's where we have to go now. The malfunction caused an error in the bot management system. You need to order one of them to restore the system on its own. Okay. I want to go outside here, though. I don't want to stay in the spaceship the entire time. Ooh, this looks spooky. This is the repair bot distribution center. Each tile transports a robot that gets on it to a different area of the ship. Some Ooh. tiles are locked. Find them and use them to lead a robot to the console. How? What? Oh, no. Oh no. What? Oh, okay. I need to figure out. Ah. To the console. I get it. So I need to stand somewhere over here. This is like a... Like a Minesweeper game. Ooh. Yes! Objective complete. There you go. Well done. The robot maintenance system is now fully autonomous. I know. I'm brilliant. I'll fill you in on the current situation once you reach the bridge. The bridge. Because of the malfunction, we've lost almost all the liquid graphene, and we can't continue our mission. Oh no. Right now, your mission will be to gather enough graphene so we can reach our destination. Okay, and how? Where are we gonna find graphene, Lucy? Little, little rascal, huh? Whoa! Oh, yes, baby! After the malfunction, Go. I've steered our ship to orbit the planet Speculo in the Theta Laporis system. We can find liquid graphene there. Go to the elevator opposite the bridge door. Okay. And reach the transporter bay. Okay. The artificial gravity in this area will allow you to get around obstacles. What? How? Whoa! Uh, press the wrong button again. Oh! How did I do that? Oh no, this thing is open? Ah! Ah! Okay, that's off-putting. Whoa, that's weird. I read about that too. Oh, that's weird. Oh my god. My brain is saying, no, do not do that. Oh, okay, wait, I can go over there. Wah. Weird. That's weird. That's weird. Wah, that's weird. Alice, I cannot contact the Mirabilis Control Center. The airspace barrier over the city is still active. I will continue my attempts to contact the citizens. Okay, but there were no life forms, so how will there be citizens? Wait, this... Lucy? Did you trap me in here? Oh, okay. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh my days, that's some, that's some brilliant engineering over here. How do I get in that thing? I want to get in there. Is that my pot? Because that was not what I was expecting when you said pot. This is a freaking airship. Oh, are we? We are going in there. Yeah, sure, great. You know what to do, Alice. Have a safe flight. Yep, thank you, Lucy. See you on the other side. Let's go down the rabbit hole. Whoa. Oh my days, this Alice, is gorgeous. You can't land any closer to the city. Head north and look for the entrance to the city. When you get there, you should have no trouble finding a graphene sales point. Oh, watch the rocks. Oh, wow. Oh, 
Wow. I, I need to I need to downscale the, the HMD scaling again. Which is a shame because this looks so good. Oh my days, this is gorgeous. Let me just walk around like a little bit. Oh, this is so awesome. I I don't understand what other oh, well, I, I don't know what other people saw. So I mean I shouldn't say I don't understand. But the resolution of this is freaking gorgeous. Whoa. Can I eat that? Yay, physics! All right, Troopers, with this beautiful scenery, I'm gonna finish this episode off. I do need to reduce the HMB scaling still a little bit. I have it currently set to, I think, 200, which is still a bit too much because with scenes like the ones that I'm in now, it starts jittering again a little bit. But let me know in the comment box about what you guys thought about this game. And remember, guys, if you like this video, punch the like button, black and blue, and I will see you all in the next video. See you later.